Well, I've got the, the stack set up where I've got the two top extended pieces and the two full eight foot pieces uh, stacked up the end square. The sides are evened up. Uh, I almost messed up here uh, when I finished up on the last thing as I had them squared up side by side uh, even on the edges and that was like you know that doesn't seem to be right because I got it offset for my fingers here so I had to unclamp everything and move the top two sheets which will be the, the shorter the six foot sheets over half an inch make sure that's a half an inch because that's the depth or the width of my gauge and I'm, I'm saying or I'm thinking now that if you if you do this kind of thing is to get the half inch uh, uh, finger uh, guide because it becomes more or it becomes easier to move across. Uh, I've got a, a, a pure 24 inch wide piece and so that half inch goes into equal things as opposed to a 9 16 or a 7 16 which is going to be all the 16th you'll be counting and adding. So I've got everything set off on the half an inch and then the very end of this thing is lined up over that. I'll reset up here for a second to show you what I've got to do. So the first one will have, um, let's see if I can do that without being offensive. Um, they will be over like that. This one here will have a hook, the other one will have a, a point, and they'll end up the opposite way where uh, one sheet will have a point and the other one will have a, a hook. So uh, let me uh, show you what I've got here. Okay, as you can see, I've got an offset on these two top sheets, or offset a half an inch, so straight down off of the edge of this one, I get down to the edge of my, uh, the outer edge of these two oar sheets. And I also have a wrapper square set up to square this down. I've got a screw here, screw in the middle, and then a clamp. And when I get done, I'm going to, before I move this over, I will put a, a strong straight edge back in here, a lot higher or you know stiffer than this uh, raptor square. And then I'll just be able to slide this over and clamp it down in a new position. Well, I got my Jet 1000B going to suck up the little dust. And now we're going to go ahead and make sure you've got your, your goggles on. And we'll start. The bit I have in here now is my plunge bit, the spiral cut pl uh, uh, plunge bit that will uh, open up the, the, uh, the wood enough to where I can get in with the final half inch router bit, straight sided router bit to uh, clean it up. So, there we go. clean this up and then I'll switch bits and we'll come back and open this up with the, uh, the full half inch uh, router bit. Okay, we're going to route it out now with the half inch uh, straight shaft uh, router. I got my guide and everything's all set up. Here we go. Make certain that you've got, make certain check all that fancy words, 
uh, that the noses are nice and round. I'm going to go ahead and continue this on without out camera and then we'll come back when I have to uh, undo this and move it over again. It's pretty much the same thing. All the way well, I've got that part finished and I've got I unloosened the, the clamp here and I got my uh, strong straight edge here. It's kind of, <laughs> it's straight, uh, even though the edges are kind of gnarly at it. Uh, so I've got that side and I came out right on the nut on, the, on this side over here where it hooks out uh, into where a finger will go. So now I have to bring this over to the very edge and I got to line this up. I need to get some uh, half inch doweling or something so I can go up in here into the metal guide as opposed to the, trying to use the, the face on, on the wood here. And uh, get that set back in and, and down. And One of the things you also want to do when you're setting this up is that this is back far enough that there's enough of the edge sticking out so when you come around uh, it will leave you round edges and not uh, flat on the ends. So let me go ahead and check this out again and come back after I get it all set up and we go again. Well I had found something in my toolbox that was a perfect half inch thick and it was the the end on my uh, my magnet extension it is uh, just perfect so and it's nice bright yellow so it gives me that tool look. So that's in there. No movement. Great. And I got it clamped down and screwed down so I can I'll have to go, uh, that's the only problem by having this, uh, this shorter, if it was a longer uh, bar, a uh, finger bar, then I wouldn't have to do a, a setup for each move over. Uh, so I've got to go back over to the, the spiral cut bit again, and so we'll come back when we do that. Uh, or, eh, let me, I'll go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll, I'll, we'll come back in as I'm finishing up with the uh, square on the very last thing, and we take it apart, so. No, he's boring. Hey, you wanna... I should have been wearing this earlier. In the last, uh, when I was using the uh, spiral bit, it picked up a lot more dust than that first time. But, uh, go along and uh, make a nice clean pass, but remember to keep the, uh, the plate flat on the, on the guide here so you don't tip it and, and dig in. So uh, that's all done. Let me go ahead and uh, clean up and we'll come back uh, after I've got it, the clamps on. Well, I've got my fingers all cut across. They're all nice and smooth and even. And you can see down in here where I've got my little, my little offset on these two. So let me go ahead and extend out my work platform here and pull these guys apart and put them into their pairs so you can see what I've got that way. Okay, I've got them joined up here and one of the things I was concerned about is how straight this line is going to be here. I've got just a little bit of, of dibble in here from the edge but it lines up on the straight edge and as you go across it's like a zipper. There's a little bit on the other side but this line here, I've already checked with a straight edge. Let me get that in there. Ah. Sorry about that. The lines uh, meet up, but the gap, uh, there's a little gap there, but that'll be on the bottom, and so that'll get filled with gel, gel magic. So I'm not worried about that. So, well, as I said, I've got this done. So now all I have to do is uh, go ahead and put some bisqueen down on the bottom and uh, glue each layer up. Uh, this thing is going to be one long boat. I, mean, I can see why I haven't done any 14 foot holes inside uh, the barn here. It's just going to be, uh, it's going to be a long pain in the, pain in the patootie uh, to work on this thing. But it uh, won't take that long. So my battery's dying. I shall see you later.